All right, so this in the last year, this makeshift city has uh, popped up with uh, all, everyone here is all gold mining. Right? Over on site. Um, and the city has been built with just mud and brick. Yeah. Masai. <laughs> So anyway, see the satellite TV, everything's generator power. No no power here. Um, and then this coming into the town, this is kind of where I stay. Do the, do the things I need to do, eat. Got a pool table over there. Building. Building, they're building. This was nothing a year ago. So this is all built up. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, from last year. Um, and it's become very, very busy. Everybody calling Mazungu means white man. As you can see, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So this is our city, makeshift city. It's uh, popped up like any other mine. It's, it's home, it's home now. All right, we're uh, at the site. This is um, Obadiah, he's the owner of the property and I'm gonna let him kind of tell you what, uh, what his experience is and uh, we partnered up with him to, uh, to get the site and uh, uh, partnering with him on his mines to, to get all this equipment tested and everything. So Obadiah, just give me a basic idea of who you are. And, uh, uh, I'm a miner, I've been mining this area for a long time. Since 1994, then I think I've seen all the pictures. Just took talk around, a little louder. Uh, we took around, and what I need is to be given a support so that I can give me some good equipment so that I can use it to mine. Oh, how long have you been mining, doing uh, this business? I've been mining for since 1994. 1994. Right. And how long have exactly you... Exactly 1982. 82 you've been mining, but uh, but, but you've been in this area. I got this license, I've license since 1994. 1994 for this, uh, this From area. that, then I'm just mining like this. Okay. Right. What so, is uh, supposed to have some good equipment. Right. Support. Well, that's what we're going to try to do, bring in some better stuff. And, Pretty much the same process, just a little more efficient equipment, and uh, and we'll see what uh, we can do. Obadiah is kind of the, the the unofficial king of this area. Everyone knows him, and he's uh, working with him. even a lot of the sites you'll see people are mining themselves on his land, so he's allowing them um, allowing them to do that. And, uh, so who else is uh, here with you right this now? Is my manager. Okay. I have been talking to him for so long. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. There are some other people behind them. Right. Okay. How? What kind of experience does your manager have? He can just talk with me. He has been in the mine for so long, uh -huh. so he's familiar with it. Very good. Can, very good. Can direct him. So, uh, so that's what we're doing here. We're gonna work with these guys. Um, we, we've got contracts signed to basically manage their mining site. More importantly, we're gonna be able to set up all the equipment here so people can see how it works and uh, and help you to get some people here to use uh, to use Mercury. Obadiah, why don't you tell tell us a little bit about uh, the process? Normal, how how are things done here? It's, first, it's crushed. Um, what's the process that, that you've been using? Um, to get gold. We, we, when we take the, the ores from site, we bring them here, we crush, but locally. locally. And when processing, we just use this dangerous mercury and some cyanide. Cyanide. Very bad. But yeah. the, the, the ones you showed me, it's very clean. Yeah, yep. get but clean, people. no chemicals, which is always nice. So, uh, okay. All right, well, uh, I hope uh, you'll be seeing more of Obadiah and Cha-Cha there on the left in the red shirt. He's kind of my helper with everything and his manager, so we're going to try to post videos as much as we can and uh, 
keep you guys informed to what we're doing and you know kind of read along and we're trying to really get rid of the the dangers and the you know uh, of, of mercury and cyanide and you know give local people small people the chance to be able to to get a lot more gold so that's what it's all about all right thanks okay okay so here is our site um, all this is ore that we've brought up that we're going to be crushing once the crusher gets here um, we're thinking of putting a small little restaurant bar kind of thing it's a big area um, this is where I've been staying uh, and I'll show you what we've been up to the last uh, week so um, here's our like I said here's all our ores we have a lot um, everywhere you see that's open here is is our property um, very big uh, big property for us uh, setting up and displaying now today well we just finished these now this is our tailing pond um, they're just kind of conditioning the, the stuff but uh, here is where we set it we'll set up the gold cubes this will be I'll lead you through the whole thing uh, so we built this this is where the gold cubes will be set obviously this will be full of water then the uh, the water will flow over into a small little trench uh, river thing we go into another settling pond here then it'll come over comes off the top runs down to another settling pond I want to try to get this water as clean as possible and then it goes back into the clean water pond. So this is where we'd be drawing our water from. So a lot of water going in there, kind of set it up like a little river. Um, so this is where we're washing. Now, uh, we also have another, <laughs> I call this the hot tub. And it, w originally we started to make one, we built this one, but um, you know, just to hold some extra water for panning or whatever. But, I'm actually thinking about turning this into a hot tub. So I just get a solar hot water heater and some pumps and filters and so anyway there we are that's uh that's it. And we have our makeshift house that we threw together very quickly. Yeah, I took you a little tour of my new home. These are water containers. Uh the idea. Bed, place to to crash all uh, supported by uh, bags of ore. Um, so nice simple room. It's made out of mud. You know, the roof is just sticks. And, but you know, it works. It, uh, got a roof over our head, mosquito netting. This is uh, the room where the uh, shaker table is going to be set up. Um, so Right now we're going to use buckets and building in other areas specifically for the shaker table and its own ponds and things like that. For now we'll use tubs. Um, probably build it off the end here. As you can see there's a big, you know, we still have quite a bit of space uh, to use. And we're making bricks out of, uh, out of our tailings. Um, so, uh, so anyway, that's it. That's where we're at. Yeah. There you go. Good, good. Well, I think we're ready to start the rock and roll. We're going to bring the equipment here uh, this weekend. Test, have our pond filled up with water and, uh, and get to work. As you can see, we have quite a bit of ore to crush. And as you can see, the piles in the background, I don't think we'll run out of anything anytime soon. Um, again, you can see people crushing and we're in the heart of, heart of gold mining area here. I don't want to try to work. So, uh, so that's where we are. I'll show you a little bit of the, the view here. You can kind of see the... Kind of in the valley. Surrounded by mountains. Uh, there's... Big mountain. So it's... Uh, you know, some other people living. Living down there. Well, that's our, uh, this is our little piece of paradise. This is the new USA mining supply uh, property. So, 
So we go pretty good ore here. Um, anywhere 15 to 30 grams per ton. Um, so uh, get the table hooked up, get the two cubes hooked up. We put a diesel motor on the crusher, so I'll do a whole new video of all that. But, uh, that's where we are. That's where we are. All right, so this is our, our mine. And using bicycles to transport everything, as you can see, very heavy. Uh, lots of deep. They what? They just started working again recently. Good. So this is the ore that we have on site at the site. Let's see this one has close. Yeah, this one got dangerous. Big hole. So it's been closed because it's dangerous. So now moving on all the other. So this is all ours. This is what we're doing. So now what to, we hope to do is to get some gold out of this stuff. We're having it all brought back to our site. Um, and, uh, and we're using all the new equipment, new crushers. Their crushers are only able to crush about 150 kg or a little under 300 pounds an hour. Uh, so we're hoping to increase that with the chain crushers. Getting the ropes. Another shaft. Here's all the ore. I'm doing bags. Ready to go. So this is uh, this is our man. This is what we're doing. Lots of people above ground. Also lots of people underground. <laughs> When crash, crash the wall. Busy, busy, busy. busy. <laughs> this is some of the oil we're crushing. You see the copper content is uh, very high. Gives it a green, stone, a green look, which is why they call it the green stone. Yeah, Lake is So this is the man. I'm not going down in the freaking hole, so... Yeah, very active. Good work. This is the gold you've been seeing on the table. It's coming from the edge of the room. Let's see them burning it up. Right now we're using... We're going to place all those wrenches out in the back of the doors here. Oh, that's all it comes. Chacha, are you going to go down in that hole? Where? Inside? Yeah. No. Why? <laughs> I don't blame you, I'm not going down there. It is very deep. <laughs> He's trying. Yeah, Lynch would definitely make this a lot easier. <laughs> Don't judge you. You're getting there. Keep going. <laughs> Um, 
So your wife can see that you actually are working. All right. Okay. Keep cranking. It's really heavy. You're getting, I know, you're getting close. Really <laughs> Chuck is one of my workers here. Helps me with the sights. So. Trying to prove to his wife he's out there actually working, not chasing women. I don't know, maybe he's doing both. Keep going, dude. He's coming. Yes, man. He's coming. Yeah. Hey, Chacha. Hey. Ask them how deep this hole is. How many meters? One hundred meters. One hundred meters, so about three hundred feet down. One hundred. One hundred. Meter. Meters. Three hundred feet. Yeah. Very deep. Now I'm finished my work. Good. Sir. All right. What is next? Next we go to the site. All this is used to a few more sites. Make sure tents. Again, lots of ore stockpiled. All this is all our, our mining operation here. Probably about 30 holes we're getting ore from. Right now, maybe a hundred people working. So um, we've come a long way in the last uh, last few weeks to a month. So, you can see some more holes. You guys hard at work, so again. This is uh, actually, this isn't your area now though, right? No, this is the boundaries. Yeah. Right. So, so this is the boundary, this is a new, someone else's claim. Again, all potential customers for our equipment. Um, and I'll include some videos from crushing here in a, in a minute for you. But, um, it's big business out there. Big, big business. Okay, so this is the end. So this is Obadias. These people are repairing. Um, and there, but starting here, this is somebody else's. This is the Germans, yeah, I remember. It's a big one. This is the Germans. Mining here. You can see it's deep. 300 feet, 400 feet deep, all this sorts of so depending on uh, the layer in will depend on the color of the rock, the types of rock that are in there. You see a lot of the limestone versus the, the more quartz and iron, copper ores, gold ores. You can see everybody's uh, robust and ass. Huh?